there, there's sometimes two perspectives that we can take through this spiritual path lens. One is the lens of surrender, right? Mm -hmm. And, and, and seeing it all as God's grace. And ultimately what we're doing is realizing that, that we're not in control. And then there's this other lens of maybe self-reliance where, where we just get really centered into what maybe we would call our true will. And we just get really clear on what we actually want. And we find that the more we rest in that, we have greater inner freedom to actually truly make a choice rather than just being flung around by, you know, our past conditioning, for instance, mm -hmm. right? But when we really rest into either of those perspectives, at the bottom of them, we're talking about the exact same thing. And that really gets into just this deep, intimate relationship that we have with the essence of reality, mm -hmm. where an exercise that I've done and that I do a lot with people in my one-on-one -on -one work, after meditating for a bit, you'll just ask someone, what do you want? And it's a very interesting question because there's a sense of ownership, like I want this, right? And then you, you say the same question. And what happens is you, you start to go through all your program responses and then you just get left. There's just this spaciousness, this deep unknown mystery. And then the question's asked and it really takes you into that core of surrender and will. And because what emerges, what you often will say in that space is a complete mystery to you. Sometimes, you know, the moment before you don't know that you're about to say it. So then the question arises, where did that come from? Right? It's what you want, but where did it come from? Mm -hmm. It didn't come from the mind. It didn't come from your individual sense of self. It came from somewhere else. 